Hello there gamers, so I just watched the new animated remake of the original Diary of Wimpy Kid on Disney Plus, and it wasn't very good. Now the franchise of Diary of Wimpy Kid will always be a classic in the late 2000s and 2010s culture, and I was honestly pretty excited for this movie. I'm really nostalgic for those books and movies, not that one. Now when this movie came out, people started saying how awful it was, and so I almost didn't watch it, but I mean I couldn't help myself. And yeah, it was bad, but I don't think it was as awful as some people say it was. And today I'm here to tell you why Diary of Wimpy Kid 2021 is kinda bad. Betrayal. So one of my main issues with this movie is the portrayal of these characters. Now the voice actors here are actually doing a pretty good job. What I don't like is how underused their character tropes are. Roger Keffley is the best character in the franchise, there is no question about that. And he's hardly in this movie. And Frank Heffley is the second best character, and once again he's barely in it. Another big problem I have with this portrayal is the lack of enthusiasm. With Frank in the 2010 movie, the acting is so goofy and over the top that it's honestly hilarious. Just look at this dude. Ha! Guess who's the laugher now? Me! I'm the laugher! I'm the laughingest laugher that ever laughed! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Funny stuff! You can tell the actor had a blast playing this role, but in this movie, he's just so bare. I mean, there was this one scene at the start where he was really enthusiastic about the model he was making with his pasta. I thought that was pretty funny and reminded me of his original movie portrayal. But overall, and this appeals to other characters too, it's just like the original movie, but it just doesn't hit the same. And that's how I'd wrap up this entire movie. Another reason for this is the animation. Speaking of... Animation. I like to think I have a pretty good knowledge when it comes to animation. 24 frames of Nick mentioned this in his video, but it's very obvious that this movie is trying so hard to be the Captain Underpants and the Peanuts movie, animation-wise at least. Going for a modernized take while still keeping the same charm as the original design. However, these movies are very different because of the over-the-top goofiness. Almost like an old Disney animation. And this movie just doesn't do that. The characters look so stiff in their animation. There's no character or expression. And that's a shame because this style has so much potential to be as good as the Captain Underpants and the Peanuts movie. Story. The story here is just the original, but watered down to be a disappointing, hour-long ride that feels more like one of those straight-to-TV movies. Probably, because that's exactly what it is. Listen, overall, the story's fine. But like I said, nothing hits as hard. It just feels half-assed. Now, to be fair, when I heard about how bad it was, I was expecting way worse. Instead, I don't know, it's not that bad, but it's still nothing compared to the original. Most of the main characters have little to no screen time. So much was neutered. Just, why was this only one hour? If they added even half an hour longer, they could have improved this significantly. God, Disney, just hire me already. Conclusion. So that about wraps up my opinion on this movie. I know it was a very short video, but really there's just not a lot to say about this movie. It's very underwhelming and not very good. But I still kinda had fun with it. I mean, there are a lot of jokes in here that gave me a little chuckle. Like, I thought Fredly living in what's essentially a haunted house was pretty funny. But overall, it just wasn't the same. And it just made me want to watch the old Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. And with that, I would like to give this movie a 4 out of 10. 